Hello again, and thanks for stopping by. Now that we have modeled, rigged, and assigned surfaces to the clothing base, let's add some scene detail to it. It can be done with or without editing the base mesh. We will not edit the mesh in this video. Instead, the seam will be added using displacement maps. We'll see how quickly we can create and export a displacement map from ZBrush and use it in DAS Studio. Now let's begin. As we did in the previous video, I have the Genesis 8 male development version loaded with our clothing top that we created in the previous session. Now let's switch to iRay preview mode and give the shirt a darker color. We will be adding some seam details to the sleeves and collar area using a displacement map, which can be created easily using ZBrush. With GoZ, export the figure and clothing to ZBrush. To load the Genesis 8 male and clothing mesh into the canvas, click and drag. Click on the edit icon to make the meshes editable. Then click twice on the frame icon to zoom in on the clothing mesh. To preview the polyframe for the clothing mesh, click on the draw polyframe icon. Select the auto group with UV to load the poly group we previously assigned to the mesh. Please note that the mesh is only grouped according to its UVs, not by the surfaces we created with Daz Studio in our last video. Turn off the polyframe view. Subdivide the mesh three times by clicking the Divide button under the Geometry panel. The mesh will have a much higher polygon count now. With the Mesh by Feature function, with Border and Group selection selected, mask out the seam outline. Increase the mask size by clicking the Grow Mask button. It will also give the seam a softer edge at the same time. We will now inflate the mesh with the seam area masked. Give it a setting of 4. Click and drag the empty canvas area to clear the mask. Using the subdivision slider, reset the subdivision of the mesh to 1. To create and export a displacement map, select Create and Export within the Displacement Map panel. Navigate to the folder where you want to save the displacement map and click Save. Back in DAS Studio, locate the Displacement Strength parameter under the Surface panel by typing Displacement into the filter. Load the Displacement map we just created by clicking on the arrow icon next. With the Displacement Strength activated, more control options will be made available at the same time. In order to see the effect of the Displacement map, we need to switch to iRay Preview mode. Set the displacement strength to 2. Set the maximum displacement to 0.3. Set the sub D displacement level to 1. As we can see, the displacement map that we created in ZBrush has added some seam detail to the clothing mesh. With the clothing mesh selected, choose Convert to Sub D under the drop down menu to convert the clothing to a sub D mesh. This will give the displacement seam a higher definition. Let's do a quick render to see how it turned out. The displacement map has simulated seams at the clothing joint area. There was also some simulated fabric thickness at the joint. Let's try adding hem to the bottom of the top, trim for the collar, and trim for the cuff using the same method. Export the meshes to ZBrush once more. Now we'll create a new polygroup for the hem and trim for the collar and cuffs. This time, we will mask the border. Without the group option, using the mask with feature function. With the grow mask function, we will increase the mask size. Let's grow the mask twice. Next, we will create a new polygroup using the group masked function. Click and drag on the empty canvas area to clear the mask. At the border, you will see a new polygroup is created using the masking area. We will now create a new displacement map by repeating the same steps as before. 
First, we will subdivide the mesh. To mask out the seam outline, we will use the Mesh by Feature function with the border and group selection selected. As you can see, this time we masked out an extra hem and trim area. Like before, grow the mask again. And inflate the mesh with a setting of 5. Click and drag to clear the mask. Reset the subdivision to 1. Finally, we will export the displacement map in DAS Studio. We will replace the displacement map with the one we just made. We will bend the arm up slightly so that we can see the cuff at the same time. Let's render to see what the result looks like. As it turns out, the displacement strength is a bit too high this time. The main reason for this is that the new displacement map was created in ZBrush with an inflation setting of 5 while the first one is 4. Reducing the displacement strength setting to 1 will solve the issue. We will compare the renders for the two different settings. Displacement map is a fast and easy way to add simple detail to the base mesh without editing it and increases its poly count. Although the displacement maps were created using ZBrush in this video, it is not the only way. They can also be created using other programs such as Adobe Photoshop. Once again, we have reached the end of the video. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Please join me again in my next video, where we will explore how we can create seam detail by editing the mesh itself. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. It will really motivate me to post more content like this. Look forward to seeing you again soon.